I'm sure most of you have seen this. This story floating around the internet. But for those who haven't, this is going to be a quick recap. So this is the article I came across. It's on Business Insider. And the title is, An agency created an AI model who earns up to $11,000 a month because it was tired of influencers who have egos. The summary of the article is... Aitana Lopez, as you can see here, is an AI-generated creation by a Spanish agency that grew tired of booking real models. Lopez can make just over 1,000 euros or $1,090 per advert and is featured on in images on FanView. And then FanView CEO previously told Insider that AI-generated characters would thrive and become common. So this is creation by Ruben Cruz. He's the founder of the Barcelona-based modeling agency. And this AI-generated woman, Aitana Lopez, is a pink-haired 25 year old and her account has amassed 124,000 followers on Instagram. Let's actually click onto this to see if they're still at that number. So we can see now, well, it's up to 300,000 followers. And what is cool about this one is that it only has 95 posts. You can find her over at fit underscore Aitana and you just see some bio so powered by AI so they don't run away from it. They're running with it that she's AI and some of the recent posts, let me just go into this one, it's one week ago. So yeah, it's still working. It's still good and if you check some of the photos, let me just go over to these posts. Actually, that wasn't the recent post. Let me just click on this one. Yeah, one day ago. So yeah, this is how it looks like. What I like about this one, is the consistency all right the consistency of the face in each and every one of these pictures so it's a pretty cool thing to make something like this it's very tricky to see if this person is real or not if you really look at it you can tell that it's ai but on a first glance no and then you can see how she makes money right <clears throat> so the story goes on cruz decided to design lopez after having like some trouble working with real models and influencers like many projects were being put on hold or just canceled and that's a thing with an ai model they won't cancel they'll post the ad that some models don't want to post and then fan view like you know it's a subscription based platform it's similar to only fans and it looks like they're also making images of her and charging some people a subscription fee there. So, yeah, it's crazy. And the crazy part, craziest part, is that this AI influencer makes anywhere from 3,000 to 10,000 euros per month. Now, this just shows that having any audience on any kind of platform, whether you're a real person or not, is a benefit. And there's like another example. Uh, she's called, I mean, yeah, she or Ed. It's called Emily Pellegrini. And I tried to find her on Instagram, but it says coming soon. I read some of the comments there, like what happened to your entire posts, Emily? Like, why have you erased all photos? So who knows what's happening here, but she has a lot of followers. And I did some search, but what I don't like about this is that I saw some of the pictures and the face is not consistent as it is on Aitana Lopez, right? So yeah, there's completely different hair color in some of these pictures and what i like about aitana lopez is actually this pink hair that's a defining characteristic right and i think that's what we have to shoot for if we're gonna make an ai influencer ourselves okay so how would i make this there are actually a few tools that you can use in order to make this. The first one is DALI 3, but I don't think this image generator is fit for this task. I tried it and it's not so good. Then I thought, all right, mid journey is our best bet, but yeah, even though the outputs in mid journey, it is true that they're more realistic, but unfortunately this does cost money and earning money with AI models requires time. It requires consistency over time. So if you don't have some capital and you can't allow yourself to be without any profits for the next few months, well then I recommend doing this. We're gonna use Google Collaboratory or Google Colab. And I will just leave a link for this. It's called Focus Colab. And one fella made this. You can thank this fella. It's called Kamanduru. I think that 
it's the way to pronounce. Anyways, he made this and you can just thank him. You can follow it on Twitter and I'm going to leave a link here for you so you can just rewrite it. So this is the link for that collab. Pause the video, paste it into your search bar and this is where you will land. So the first thing that you got to do, you see here it says connect. Click on this connect button and then when these three dots disappear, when you get this check mark, click on the play button which is located here. This is going to run cell. Click on run anyway and this is going to take like 15 to 20 seconds. This is all running on a cloud on Google Colab. Nothing going to happen to your PC or whatever, you know. I had to tell that. When this is done, you will have something like this. All you gotta do is search for this link, all right? It ends with gradio.live, click on it, and then you will land on a place where you will make this happen. And this is it. Now, you only have to put in the prompt. I'll leave this prompt for you on the screen right now. You can just rewrite it, just pause the video, and then just take this one and paste it in here, all right? But before we go, you've got some of these advanced options. The format, you just have to choose the format, which is one by one. So 1024 by 1024, all of these styles, you don't have to touch anything at all. Model, it's gonna be this juggernaut, probably heard about this one before. And advanced, you don't have to do nothing. Now, just click on the generate button and then just wait a few seconds. Now, the cool thing about this one is that, as you can see, it goes live, all right? So you can see by every second, it gets better and better. So it started off like nothing, right? But I'll just skip this for now. Let's just see the end result. So here's the end result. I've got two images because here you can choose the image number in here. So these are two, all right? For example, I like this one more. As you can see, it's very similar to Aitana Lopez, right? But of course, it's still different. This one, I don't like. You know, too much freckles, and the hair is not good here, but you can see that it looks realistic, all right? All we gotta do now, we have to keep consistency, all right? That's the only thing that we gotta do. We gotta keep this face on every picture that we make. So all you gotta do now is to change the backgrounds. How to do that? Well, just firstly, save this image. This is gonna be your face. If you don't like this one, just repeat the process. And then you can see this has been downloaded to my computer. Now what I gotta do, I have to click on this input image, as you can see here. So here you can see image prompt, all right? And in here, you will upload that image, this one that you have downloaded. So this is the image that I want this to generate upon again. So now you can freely change the prompt. And I'll just write something like woman in a party dress. Let's just make it like that. So woman in a party dress. Click on the generate button once more. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna just use this face, all right? It's gonna use this face, the one that we have made earlier. And it's just gonna put her in a dress, all right? You can write anything. You can write, I don't know, on a beach, in a hotel room. Basically, just go and see what Aitana Lopez is doing, right? And as you make more of these, you will gain more experience and you will just give better prompts, you know? With these prompts, you know how it is. The more detailed you are, the better it's gonna be. The more specific details you give it, while well, the end result is gonna be better, right? So work at it. Now, this image took a bit to create, almost one minute, maybe 1.5. But you can see this picture already looks really, really good. And this is shaping up to be really good as well. So let's just check the end result. And here it is. We've got two pictures. Both of these are good. They're looking good, right? So you can see pretty realistic. I mean, almost a real person, right? A lot of people would think that this is a real person, but you're just gonna go with AI think just like Aitana is doing, right? You don't have to hide that this is an AI. Also, one more really important thing is that you go and study the competition. Always see what they're doing and just steal some of the ideas, right? It's never gonna be the same picture. It's AI after all, it's, it's always gonna be different. But just take the ideas, you know? Go and see what works, you know? If, for example, I don't know, you can see the picture in a gym, if it works well, if it has good reach, a lot of likes, a lot of views, whatever, just go and make your girl in a gym as well. And of course, 
you're going to learn. But as with everything, you have to be consistent. Consistency is the most important part with this one. And do not expect money like in the first few months. Yeah, I'm being completely honest with you. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This requires a lot of work. And here's one more for you. This is I just typed in woman on a beach. Now, pretty simplistic prompt. You have to go in more detail than I did, but it's pretty good. It's our girl on a beach, right? So enjoy yourself. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.